Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5870 iCooler 5 Turbo 1GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5870 video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, a case badge, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 game, a DVI to VGA adapter, a crossfire bridge, and two six-pin power adapters. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and it's based on the RV870 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 2.1 billion transistors. This video card comes with the iCooler 5 cooler which has a massive heatsink and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and the memory. There's also a large fan that's included which blows cool air over the many aluminum fins to dissipate the heat. There are four video connections, two DVI, one display port and an HDMI connection which fully supports 7.1 channel audio. At the top there are two crossfire bridge connections and this video card requires two 6-pin power cable connections. The maximum power consumption is 188 watts at max load and 27 watts at idle. So a quality power supply that can handle load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 875 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 256 bit memory is 4.9 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 1600 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data, 80 texture units, and 32 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 28 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 70 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 156.8 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video, but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and power play power management technology which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. Now let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. Remember the video card driver sets the fan speed automatically but it can be set manually.
This video card is very impressive. It includes lots of fantastic features and technologies. Also, it includes a great game, an excellent cooler, and of course, it will support today's games and all of the upcoming DirectX 11 games. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.